Are you the kind of person that likes to stand out in a crowd? You like your music loud, you like your clothes loud, and you like your fragrances bold? Well then you're in the right place. Stay tuned for more information. This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose Hi, Scott here with another fragrance review. Welcome. I'm glad you guys could join me. Today we're going to be talking about Mansera Instant Crush. Mansera, created in 2008 by Pierre Montal, came from a dual source of inspiration. The Art Deco movement and a desire to revisit old scents and create new, modern interpretations that preserve the beauty of their predecessors. Instant Crush by Mansera is an oriental floral fragrance for women and men. This is a new fragrance. Instant Crush was launched in 2019. The top notes are saffron, ginger, Sicilian mandarin, and Sicilian bergamot. The middle notes are amberwood, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, Indonesian patchouli. The base is Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, white musk, and oak moss. All right, guys, I don't have a full bottle. I've got a decant. So let's go ahead and spray this on and I'll tell you what I think. All right, guys, right away you get the sweetness from the fruits. There's definitely a fruity vibe in this. I'm telling you, this one, this fragrance is very potent and very powerful off the first sniff. It does dry down into something a little more beautiful. I have heard this compared to Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, I don't know if that's true, honestly. I've heard other reviewers say it. I don't know if that's true because I've never gotten my nose on Baccarat Rouge. If you guys could let me know in the comments if you do think they're similar, I would love to know that because I'm on this journey with you. But this is just kind of a first impression of what I think of this fragrance. It's definitely sweet, it's definitely fruity, and the florals are through the roof on this one. I'm not sure what's making this fragrance uh, nuclear. It may be the saffron, I think there's some ginger in this as well. But man, I've tested this out already, and this fragrance, I'm telling you, a lot of you guys are so into projection, you're so into performance. I sometimes feel like some of you like that way more than the scent itself. But for the sake of, of what interests a lot of you in the fragrance community, and maybe if you're just stopping by for the first time and you really want to know how long this fragrance lasts, this one lasts for eternity. I mean, this one is beast mode. Projection is crazy. I mean, I can spray this on like an hour before my wife walks in the door and she knows that I sprayed it immediately when she walks in the room. That's, that's the scent trail that this thing leaves. It really lingers and lasts. So if you're into loud and bold, then this one's for you. I know that because I've tested it out. And I will tell you this, it started getting a little cloying for me because I was in, you know, closed doors and close range and the smell was really overtaking me. So I tried to wash it off a little bit and I could still smell it after I washed it off. And not only could I still smell it, I could still smell it the next day. So if you are, a lot of you are looking for bang for your buck, Instant Crush is it. This thing will last forever. Now, th now let me uh, tell you one thing. On my skin, it does. On me, it lasts forever. Now, as far as silage, that's a different story because silage is the trail you leave that the scent leaves. And I, can, I know for a fact that this has major silage and my wife can uh, vouch for me on this one. So if you're looking for bang for your buck, I know Mansara fragrances aren't all that expensive, um, so this is definitely worth the money if you're looking to get into niche fragrances that, are, that aren't in the $300 range, um, then this is definitely for you and this will be worth your money because of how long it performs and how long it lasts. For lack of a better way to describe it, I know a lot of you don't like to be boxed in about what's masculine or what's feminine, but just for the sake of a description, I'd say this leans more towards the feminine than it does masculine, but you can definitely get away with wearing it if you're a male. Um, you can get away with wearing anything if you've got the right confidence. As long as the confidence is there, you can rock anything. 
And you know, I'm a firm believer in no rules. If I were to say a good time to wear this would be, it would be the winter time. Reason I wouldn't wear this in the summer is, is because once you spray this on, every hummingbird, every bee, and every butterfly in the vicinity will be following you all throughout the day. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, this is a very sweet fragrance. It's very powerful because of the projection, because of how sweet it is, and the florals, man, are so, so strong. And I really would like to know what makes this thing so nuclear. I'm guessing it's the saffron and ginger. It's not bad. Is it my favorite? No, am I gonna buy a bottle? No, but I know a lot of you guys out there who like uh, compelling, complicated fragrances, this is probably a good pick for you guys. So with that said, I really appreciate the support. This was just a quick little video to tell you my opinion. If I were to rate this fragrance out of 10, um, I don't like it, so I'm gonna give it an eight. I'd give it higher if I liked it. The reason why I'm giving it the eight is because of the projection, the performance, the silage. So I'm gonna give it high because of those things. Like I said, guys, I've said this before, when you go to buy a fragrance, make sure you test. That's what I did, because you don't wanna be stuck paying a lot of money for a fragrance you don't like. But uh, anyways, that was my review. Thank you guys again for joining me. Let me know in the comments if, if you like this one. Let me know what you think. Give me your opinions. I love learning from you guys. I love hearing from you. Um, I don't know who the nose is behind this fragrance. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know that. My guess is, is it's probably Pierre, but I'm not sure. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And uh, guys, I'll see you next time. Remember to always be yourself as long as yourself smells good.